So you have started your US visa process. Well, the first thing that you're going to be doing is to fill your DS-160. The DS-160 is a six page document that the visa officer is going to have in front of him before you appear for the interview. So needless to say, filling this the right way is extremely important. And one of the most crucial parts of DS-160 is the work information. This is also the part where I see people make a lot of mistakes. So in this video, we are going to be discussing about the four really important things that you should know before filling the work information part of DS-160. And before we start, I have something for you. So we have a free PDF and this PDF is a template which will help you prepare answers for all the questions asked in the work section and make filling this section really easy and hassle free. So do check the link in the description box below and get your free PDF. Hi guys, my name is Shachi and I'm a travel and a visa coach. On this channel, you will find tons of useful videos on the US visa process, right from filling your DS-160 to clearing the interview. Make sure that you check them out. So let's dive straight into this video and let's get into the four really important things that you should know before filling the work information part. So the first thing to keep in mind is that the DS-160 is going to ask not just for your current work information, but also for the previous ones. And a lot of times people realize this once they start filling the form. And then what will happen is that you will start hunting for the previous work information. And this may lead to either making mistakes while filling the form or the system idling out and logging you out. And once it logs you out, you will have to do the entire process of you know entering the security question, entering the application ID and logging into it again. So to avoid all of this and keep the long story short, Prepare your entire work profile before you start filling your DS-160. So start from the first job that you had and prepare everything till your recent or your current job. And to help you do this, we have a template which I told you about earlier. So this PDF has the work template and this will help you to keep all this information ready before you start filling the form. So make sure that you download a copy of it and use it. The second thing to keep in mind is that your current work information is extremely important and the outcome of the US visa process is largely dependent on this current work information, especially for B1 visa. So it's really important that you take a lot of care while filling this and make sure that the information is accurate and as latest as possible. And there are two fields where you need to give a lot of importance. The first one is your work phone number. So a lot of times people leave this blank, but please do not leave this blank. It's important that you fill in your work phone number, even if it's a landline number. And the second part is your annual salary. So there's a lot of confusion as to what exactly to put in the annual salary. And my advice to you is that it should match with the salary that is getting credited to your bank account. So whatever is the salary getting credited to your bank account, that is what you should be entering in your DS-160. And now we come to the third point and the third point is really important and I want you to pay special attention here. So when you fill in your work information, the DS-160 will ask you to briefly describe your duties and it will give you a small para for filling this. So this is a descriptive answer in which you need to describe your current job and your current role. And the way you fill this is very important, especially for B1 visas, because in B1 visas, the purpose of your visit is linked to your current job or to your current business. So I have three things that you should include while filling this part, while describing your duties. The first one is do mention the number of years of your work X and your current designation. The second one is you have to talk about your area of work and your current role. And the third one is you need to link your current role to your purpose of visit. So you need to link what you're doing currently to the reason why you want to visit the US. And doing all these three things will make this uh, part that is briefly describe your duties complete. It will make it comprehensive and also make your profile more credible. Now, to make filling the work information part and in fact the rest of DS-160 really simple and hassle-free, I have something for you. This is called the DS-160 Toolkit. This toolkit will have a 45-minute video guide in which you can fill your DS-160 with me. I share my screen and I show you exactly how to fill each and every answer. It will also have a lot of other useful resources such as templates to prepare your answers and a FAQ document. And all of this will make filling DS-160 so simple and hassle-free for you and you can do it on your own right from the comfort of your home. So do check the link in the description box below and get a copy of your DS-160 toolkit. And the fourth and the last thing that you need to keep in mind is not to skip any jobs and do not skip out on any information. So you need to list all the jobs that you've had right from the first one till the current one. 
lot of times people either skip the first job because it was way too long back or they skip jobs in between because either the duration was too short or they do not want to show it on their profile but i would advise you strongly not to do this list all the jobs that you've had even if the duration is short it's better to be honest and upfront about it than something coming up later and another source of confusion is whether you need to list the part time jobs and the internships and i would say that you can skip this just stick to your full time jobs your full time regular jobs and all the internships and the part time jobs can be skipped so guys these were four really important things that i want you to keep in mind before you go ahead and start filling the work information part of ds160 i really hope that these tips have helped you if you have any more questions feel free to leave them in the comment section i will get back to you you can also dm me on instagram my instagram handle is at shachi.mal i will respond to your questions there as well apart from this do check out all the links in the description box below you have the link to getting your ds160 toolkit A lot of people have used this toolkit and it has made the process of filling DS160 really simple and hassle-free. So do give this a try. And there's also a link to book consultation session with me so you can talk to me personally one to one. We can clear all your doubts, you can get my help in framing your answers and also get some special insider tips for the interview. So all the information is in the description box so do give it a look. Thank you so much for watching. Do subscribe to this channel and do give this video a thumbs up. Signing off for now. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.